Hey there Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Aquarius, we're going to take a look at the next three months, what you can expect, what's coming forward, what is going on the next three months, okay? So, if this reading resonates, like, subscribe, hit that bell, you know, put on a comment. Uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to take a look at your other placements, okay? And, um... Stay tuned to the end when I'll be pulling an angel number for you. We'll take a look at the meaning of that angel number. Okay, so let's get into this. What do we have for Aquarius for the next three months? What's going on with Aquarius the next three months? Spirit, give me a message. Okay, we have Guardian of Abundance. This is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Perfectly, Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future and make sure to accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. Okay, this is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. Okay, so abundance. You're receiving some kind of abundance, some kind of promotion, some kind of job offer here in the next three months. Something that's going to, you know, really be... Making you happy in this situation, you know, this is an increase. This is, you know, um, abundant situation, maybe a new career. And maybe you're meeting someone who's wealthy. Okay, let's take a look. Let's get some more energy for Aquarius. Okay, we have visualize abundance in all forms. Wow, okay, more abundance here. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with, filled with blessings. That is what you will experience. Okay, so, oh my goodness, more abundance. Are you serious? Wow, okay, let's take a look. Let's get some more energy for Aquarius. Okay, we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So there may be someone new coming along. There may be someone new to uh, be able to spend time with, to be able to share your dreams, your desires, your goals, okay? Let's take a look. Let's get more energy. Okay, we have two here. Okay, we have forgiveness and discovery. So I feel like there may be someone who needs your forgiveness. There may be, uh, this may be you who needs forgiveness. But there's someone who needs forgiveness here. And I feel like, you know, you're in this time when you're expanding when you're growing you're discovering new things look how the heart space here is so huge so open okay so i feel like you're discovering new love maybe but you're discovering new passion um something is becoming new okay some kind of new beginning happening for you okay let's go ahead and take a look at the tarot First, we're going to take a look at what it is that you may be releasing in order for bigger and better things to come in your life in the next three months. Okay, so we'll take a look at that. I just want to make sure that all the cards are here in space. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Sorry about that, Aquarius. Okay, now we can see all the cards. Okay, let's take a look. What is uh, Aquarius releasing in the next three months? What's going on for Aquarius? What would be 
what will they be letting go of in order for something bigger or better to arrive for the greater good okay the queen of cups okay the moon okay and the six of wands wow okay and we also have the two of cups here okay very interesting at the bottom we have the ten of wands so i feel like aquarius you're releasing a lot of burdens you're releasing a lot of stress a lot of things that may have been a weight on your shoulders you're now letting go of and you're you're making certain things a priority you're really looking at what is important and what it is you can handle and what you cannot no longer handle okay so i feel like you are choosing what is important and what's not as important um as before okay because i feel like before you were kind of carrying all the weight you were kind of pulling a lot of burdens taking on a lot of responsibilities i feel like those are being released you're releasing that energy so that you can do other things and i feel like you're moving into this place where you know you're able to finally you know make a move in the right direction have strength in your situation okay because i feel like you know you're gaining a lot of confidence in the things that you're doing that that may be because of this abundance that's coming through i feel like there's great abundance ahead for you and okay now we see that the things that you're releasing are um things that you no longer find valuable you know, look, she's, she's looking at this cup and she's looking at this fish. She's pulling out of the cup like, for real, a fish? You know, why is there a fish in my cup? You know, so I, I feel like you're, you're really evaluating the situation. You're really coming to conclusions that what was once important may not be so important now, you know. And I feel like you're finding that being recognized for certain things maybe being in the spotlight is no longer working for you i feel like you want to be like behind the scenes you want to not be noticed so much you want to kind of be in the shadows here and kind of be off to yourself you don't want to be in the spotlight where people can talk about you or you know see exactly what you're doing i feel like you're keeping a lot of um, things to yourself you're keeping a lot of things private you don't want to involve all the information to everyone okay um, so I feel like you're being very private at this time I feel like you're becoming a more private person now I do feel like there is friendship here there is someone that you're spending time with there's someone that you really want to get close to there's um, love that you want to discover here okay this may be that friendship that's coming forward or this may be something stronger but i feel like you have support you're you're not alone in this okay that's what i'm feeling you're not alone um so i feel like you're what you're releasing is actually working for you it's working in your favor because it you're able to focus more time on the things that you find more important and not so much the things that maybe society or other people may find as important okay so i, I think you're picking and choosing your battles very very wisely okay let's go ahead and take a look at what may be challenging capricorn in the next three months what's challenging capricorn did i say capricorn no we're on aquarius I'm sorry, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm not sure why I said Capricorn. I'm sorry, Aquarius. This is Aquarius reading, not Capricorn. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on for Aquarius. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, lots of Pentacles here, and the High Priestess. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Pentacles. There's that abundance again. 
You know, there's abundance here and I feel like it's becoming kind of a challenge. You may be um, coming into some kind of huge win. You may be winning the lottery or winning some kind of sweepstakes or um, I feel like something is coming forward here that's going to put you into a, a humongous better position. Okay, because there's a lot of money here. There's a lot of pinnacles. Um, and we have two cards here working with abundance. Um, but I feel like, you know, you have choices. There's choices that you're going to need to make. I feel like you're weighing your options. But you're also protecting what is yours. Okay? You're not letting everyone know the decisions that you're making. Because you're kind of holding them to yourself. Okay, so I feel like these decisions, these, this thing that you're protecting is you find very valuable. You find a lot of worth in this, okay? And with the Knight of Pentacles here, I see that there's, there's a offer on the table. There's someone offering you a gift. There's some kind of gift or some kind of promotion, some kind of advancement that you're taking. It may be some kind of important investment, but I feel like there is a lot of pinnacles here. This is definitely dealing with your money, your abundance, your livelihood here, uh, your career. So I feel like, you know, you're you're making this advancement, but you're you're doing it trusting that all will be well. Okay? You're trusting your intuition in the situation and I feel like you you're going to reap the blessings for trusting in your journey. Okay? So I, I feel like Spirit is letting you know to trust in the process. To trust yourself more. To listen to that inner voice. That inner calling that's letting you know that all will be well. Or to, you know, be aware there's red flags ahead, you know. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of clarity for this for these challenges. Let's get a little bit of clarity. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Give me a message for Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. So this is definitely an offer that you're going to love. This is something that you may not re refuse. Um, if you're open to love, this may be an offer of love coming in for you. Um, but I feel like this is something that you will really enjoy look at this we got the queen the two of pentacles again so i feel like you're actively weighing your options you're, you're looking at the pros and cons of the situation you're going to make a decision and i feel like that decision look how he's throwing that pinnacle up he's he's really weighing those options there he's seeing where his ideas are going to be taking him and uh, i feel like you are kind of testing the waters to see what is going to be an improvement what is going to not be an improvement so this may be some kind of investment that you're making uh, whether it be in love and business uh, i feel like you know there's an offer here some kind of offer that is really hard to refuse and you're weighing those options you're seeing if it's going to fit Okay, and I feel like you're trying to come to a full understanding of what this option is, what is going on. And I feel like you're making the decision. You see how she's stabbing the, the sword down into the ground. She's made her decision. She's made that final call. Okay, so I, I feel like you, there's something that you're going to make a move on. And there's something that's going to be very prosperous for you. And I feel like <clears throat> that's your challenge, Aquarius. Your challenge is having, having the ability to make that choice. Okay? Having the ability to weigh those options and not miss your opportunity. Okay? So let's take a look at your blessings. First of all, I'm going to get a drink. Just a moment. much better okay and so now we'll go ahead and take a look at your blessings what would be blessing aquarius 
in the next three months. What is blessing Aquarius? What blessings are coming through for Aquarius, please? The sun. Oh my gosh, I love this. The emperor. The nine of swords. The nine of wands. And the page of wands. Okay, look at this. At the bottom, we have that ten of pentacles again. Abundance. How many times can abundance come out in this reading? This is really incredible here because I feel like there's there's abundance that's really coming through for you. The blessings is the feeling of happiness and the feeling of you being in total control of your life and your surroundings of, you know, the the emperor he's in control of his life he has full control now look at this though the emperor is also a master manifester he's also a great entrepreneur so i feel like if it's something that you're manifesting i feel like you have the full ability to do so you see how he's holding this huge gold coin in one hand and this gold scepter in another. You know, he has full rule over his kingdom. You know, and I, I feel like, you know, you are kind of taking the authority of your life. You're not letting your blessings pass you by. You're finding true happiness, true abundance, true gratification. Okay, and I also feel like, now this is the after tarot, so, you know, where the nine of swords can mean worry, anxiety, depression. Now this is the after tarot, so they're not laying back, letting that worry, you know, overcome them. They pulled off their sword and now they're ready to battle their demons. So I feel like you're letting go of that worry. You're letting go of any anxiety. You know, your worries are over. You feel like you're full protected. Okay? So there's something that you're no longer worrying about because things are coming into perspective for you. Okay? We have the, the nine of, of wands. So I feel like this is all due to you not giving up. You're not giving up in the fight. The, the nine of wands can also be looked at as the wounded warrior. You know, just coming in from battle, but not giving up, ready to go in for that second battle. Okay? So I feel like you're standing firm. You're standing firm on, on what you believe in, uh, the choices that you're making. You're actively pursuing the opportunities that are coming your way. You're not backing down. You're not stopping. Okay? And I feel like... With this Page of Wands energy, I feel like you are adapting to your situation and you're now walking into this new inspired action. The pages are very young. They're naive. This is the beginning of something. But they're walking into the some kind of inspired action, some kind of... Um, new venture okay but the pages are also very excited very enthusiastic so you know i know you can't really see that on this card but as a page of wands this is exciting um energy here this is very enthusiastic this is good news okay so that is wonderful let's go ahead and get a little bit of clarity here Let's get a few cards for clarity. What are the blessings coming in for Aquarius? Give me a message for Aquarius. What blessings are coming in for Aquarius? Change. Your good fortune. Your tidings are changing here. You know, the you're, you're moving in a different direction. Change and good fortune support celebration yeah you're being supported spirit is supporting you okay so that's beautiful energy here look at this we have the seven of cups on the bottom now something with the seven of cups is it is a lot of options 
there is more opportunities that are available for you, but not everything that glitters is gold. Okay, so some of these options, some of these opportunities may not be the right opportunity. Okay, so it's something to take notice of. It's something to be vigilant of. You know, some of these opportunities are just illusions. So, but, but not all. You know, there's an opportunity in there that is gold. Okay, but I feel like things are changing for you. You know, there's good fortune here. There's a um, turn. There's a turning point that you're making. You're now seeing good fortune. You're now, you know, your luck is changing. There are people around you who are celebrating you, who are fully supporting you and have your back. Okay? So that's beautiful energy for you, uh, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on for Aquarius and love. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius and love, please. A message for Aquarius and love. What can they expect? Okay, the clock. Need time. Takes time. Cycles. Time to heal. Progress. Okay, I feel like there's an... I feel like you're busy. You're really busy. You, you may not have time for love at this moment. Okay, but we have time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment and having fun. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know, you're totally pursuing the things that are important to you. So you really aren't really looking for love at this moment. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get some messages for Aquarius. What's going on in for Aquarius? Let's get some messages for Aquarius. Okay. We have be aware. There's a situation that's unfolding that you need to be aware of. Okay, we also have soulmate. So what you may not be expecting is you may find your soulmate within this time. Okay, and we also have I need to tell you the truth. There's someone who has something to say that um, you may not know about. Okay. So, this may be a surprise. You'll get the money that you need very soon. Yeah, we see all this abundance here. Okay, and we also have this is toxic and not for you. Okay, and one more. We have your prayers are being answered. Okay, so... Aquarius, those are the messages that I have for you. Take it how it resonates. Um, there's some messages that may not be totally clear at this moment, but, but you may understand them during this time period of this three months. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a Moonology Manifestation cards. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Okay, let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Let's see these. Okay, we have speak your world into being, manifesting. This is the magician energy, you know. So whatever you're speaking into existence is what's going to come through. So make sure that you speak exactly what you want. We also have believe in your good luck. That's that Wheel of Fortune energy here, okay? And we have attune to the divine. So surrender to the divine energy because I feel like that energy wants to protect you and to guide you. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll get an angel card and see what else is going on for Aquarius. See what else is going on for Aquarius, please. Okay, if you have any questions, Aquarius, the answer is yes. The universe is telling you that this is a yes, okay? And we also have Mother, Father, God. So this is the universe speaking to you. The universe is opening up 
for you you know and i feel like this is a clear answer that the universe is telling you that now is the time the answer is yes okay so that's beautiful energy we also have angelic protection okay so that is your angel cards let's go ahead and we'll take two more oracle cards for you and then we'll get into your angel number okay what do we have for aquarius Okay, this one. Okay, we have Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth and stay grounded. So whatever you're going through during this three-month period, Spirit is letting you know to stay grounded, stay balanced, find balance in your situation. Okay, we also have Rediscover a Lost Part of Yourself. Experience Relationship Harmony and Healing. Okay. And at the bottom we have move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number here. Aquarius. And of course I had to drop every single card. Uh, just a moment, Aquarius. I'm a mess. Okay. Let's get a card for Aquarius, please. A card for Aquarius. What angel number do we have for Aquarius? Okay. We have 911 courage. Okay, a doorway has opened for you, and while apprehension may be felt, allow courage to flow in as you put your best foot forward. You are being encouraged to let curiosity lead you and know that the divine has your back. Okay, your affirmation I allow courage. To prevail as curiosity leads me through new doors. Okay, that's beautiful energy. Okay, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. And look what I have on the, on the bottom. Are you serious? I have to read this one to you as well. Blessings are here and more on the way. Let yourself feel the abundant flow of prosperity that is all around you. As you stand in your highest self, you attract all that you once were seeking. Giving is always the doorway to success. And your affirmation, the more good I do in the world, the more abundant my life grows. I radiate an energy of loving kindness. Okay, so Aquarius, that is your message. There's a huge abundance coming your way. So if this message resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus. Uh, you'll find those in a playlist for March. And also, until your next reading, Aquarius, many blessings to you. Love and light.